Beautiful, she took off beautiful. Love it. 45 pack release. Yeah, and I almost broke my wrist release in that first one, all right? Guess a day. She made a much. Hi folks, Captain Mark here, Kid Coach Chase Outdoors. I'm sure you guys put it together already. Where are we? Montauk Point, chasing these big girls. <laughs> no, not, those, not those big girls, these big girls. There's something wrong with you. I, oh my. I told you not to put that picture up, all right? This is serious business here, right? It's Kid Coach Chase Outdoors, one of the finest productions in the world. What? You got more problems in the math book. That's it though. We're out there with the con going out there chasing big uh, striped bass, and we just happened to, you know, I just got them one day. I got them on a good. Drift, I knew where they lived, they're right there, and we just hit them. It was one of those moments like, uh, Eureka! Yeah, exactly, Eureka. That's how it worked out for us, right? We were on fish all day. Let's start with the first one. Same thing, you'll lift them. Yeah. I'll hold the rod. Very nice. Another nice fish. These are all 35 plus fish. Look really froggy. So I'm gonna grab yep, them. grab them. Do your thing. I got the rod. It's really hot. Yep. This guy's gonna go real quick. Yep. Done. Beautiful. Nicely done. Nice and who's coming by? Right in the lighthouse. Joey Times. All right, guys, let's go back to camp and I'm gonna show you how to cook. market. By the way, cheese outdoors. Right the next station over here. Joey's game is always primo. Now let's go back and see Mark on a fish. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the acting? <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah, that one line right there took Michael three takes to make happen. What? All right, folks, we're still at it. We're still on a nice pot of fish here. We're gonna go through next week the um, how-to, what we're using here. We're using three ways. 
I'll show you some underwater footage, and I'll show you the rig setups and everything. We'll get some big fish next week too, so make sure you stay tuned. These are all 35 plus pound fish, biggest being like 45 pounds. So uh, stay tuned for next week's episode. You'll have a couple of laughs, and you're going to see some good fishing action. Also, the how-to is pretty important. It's going to show you how these fish uh, hold bottom, how you present the bait to them, and all that other jazz. All right, with a little kick coach, she's flat to it. Guess a day. I asked Michael if he wanted the realest one, he crossed it. We didn't have to do these stupid videos, I could still be fishing. Don't talk like that, I love these videos. Alright folks, now you know what time it is. Time for a con shout out. Taxi. Wella, wella, wella. But first I gotta show you something, alright? It was fascinating. We had Lou over at uh, at the hotel and he was a master clam opener, alright? So I just thought uh, Lou would give the uh, con, the viewing audience, a quick lesson how to open clams, alright? So check this out. Clam, curve side, out, in on the thing, push, don't cut the clam in half, turn. That way you never cut the clam, break the other muscle on the left side. Open, clam's not cut. Scrape off the top, loosen the bottom so they can suck it right in when they eat it, and that's it. Perfect. Look at that. That's perfect. Line up some plates there, Johnny boy. Right, so that's how you open clams. Now, normal people eat clams like this. Now, Big John, however, probably when he was a young lad, must have had a six-foot hero full of lead paint, because this is the way he eats clams, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat the shell. Eat the shell. Eat the shell. Please, don't stand. <laughs> you look like you get you. <laughs> I'm extremely sorry you guys had to see that, but I have to see it, you have to see it, right? It's all part of the Kid Cochise Outdoors Nation. So people ask me, what exactly is the con? Well, it's simple. It's a bunch of fishermen out there having a couple of laughs. That's all it is. For, for instance, right here, check out this video. It got sent to me by Best Bow, all right? We're all out of treble hooks. What are you, silly? We're still going to send it. This <laughs> is sick. He went under. Oh, look! He got one! He got one! A sick bastard! <laughs> that's funny stuff, right? And that's what the, that's what this is. That's what Kiko Chisa does nation is. Fishing is fishing. Let's not take it too seriously, all right? Take your job serious. Take your family serious, all right? But fishing is fishing, so let's be realistic here. So let's get back to the Kid Cochise Outdoors Nation shout out of the week, the con. Shout out of the out week. week. There he is, right there. Greg Barnage, right there. Yeah, that is fresh water. Correct the mundo, many the mucho. Greg, right there, caught this monster largemouth bass, aka bucket mouth, whatever you guys want to call it. Larry, my boy Charlie Moore. Charlie gets a dish. Charlie Moore calls him Larry's, all right? I dig it. I dig it all. Larry, bucket mouth. Large mouth, whatever you want to call it, but that's the kind of shout out of the week right there. Congratulations to Greg, all right? Let's get back to fishing. All right, folks, take notice of uh, this hook set right here, all right? I set him up, 
And I say a little to him a couple of times, just make sure he's buttoned up, make make that she's buttoned up. And then she's just going to start ripping drag, all right? Notice that I'm not going to start reeling. She's just going to rip drag. I'm going to hold the rod, and I'm going to let it just take off, all right? Keeping pressure on her. The key is you want that rod tip bent, all right? There are three elements here that are going to in your favor, and that's the rod tip bend. That's the stretch of the monofilament and the drag itself, all right? That's what's going to save you from losing that big fish. Any of those were off, you have a chance of losing that fish, either ripping his face off, ripping the mouth out, and losing the big fish. So that's what we're going to do here, all right? I'm not going to reel when the, when the fish is taking line, all right? You're just going to take your time. I'm going to hold them. I'm going to stem them. You'll see people make the mistake of inexperienced people just start cranking on that reel and just cut reel and crazy because they have a fish on. You just have to learn how to fish the fish a little bit, and then you'll uh, be more productive productive and more uh, successful at the boat when it comes to landing these fish, all right? These fish are tremendous. They have huge tails. Just one swipe of the tail will push that fish and rip that line, all right? So just be cognizant of that. Don't force it. Let that fish fight way out there where I'm doing right now. Let that fish get tied outside and then bring him in. You'll know when it's ready to come in. Always have a bend in that rod tip, all right? I keep that rod up like that, so that's my shock absorber. I know I'm putting pressure on it. And uh, that's basically it. So take your time when, you know, you're fishing these fish. Don't go crazy real. And, like, I see a lot of people make that mistake. They have a fish on, and all they do is buckle down and just keep it real. And they're reeling against drag. They're reeling just crazy. And that's not what you want to do. You don't want to get that fish to the bowl green. And there's a good chance you're going to blow the fish's mouth out if you really aggressively fish it like that. All right? All right, with that being said now, it's important to really set the hook because of the stretch of that monofilament and that rod give. All right, so watch these hook sets. They're very animated and they're very powerful hook sets, but you want to be able to bury that uh, hook into the fish's mouth and then you'll be able to fish it correctly, all right? So don't be afraid to really swing on that fish. Rod tip down when she bites. You don't have to battle these fish. These fish are on that eel already. So once you feel that, that strike, swing on them like you mean it. Releasing it from there. Oh, she's gone. Come on. Oh, she's definitely gone. We got us a problem. Holy <laughs> That rod looks almost small. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> you do here? <laughs> oh my god. It's like a firecracker going oh my god. <laughs> Michael just set up on that fish. It sounded like a gunshot going off as the rod snapped. It's gonna be interesting. These guys are dying over here. This is gonna be interesting. Try to fight from the other side of the boat if you can. Oh, yeah. I don't have any say in this. Oh, I think I broke my hand. <laughs> oh my god. That was the best hook set ever! <laughs> That's the best hook set ever! Yeah, but you can't Watch you that line fish. that you don't go anywhere near the tip of that no, rod. I'm trying. So, I almost think you could should fight it upside That's down. How I'm doing it. Upside down. Upside down. Which is pos no, impossible, is right? Just don't let that hit the tip of the rod or else it's going to fray off. Is it a decent fish? It feels like it, but you can't tell. You don't know. It just feels like weight. Sorry about the person. 
Oh, that is hysterical. If we land this fish, we have <laughs> You can't do anything with it either, you know? <laughs> you may have to go on the swim platform. Why is that rod so small? <laughs> oh, I really think I broke my hand. Too. There's definitely a bone in my hand that's broken. I don't know which one it is. I have to. Oh, there's no way we land this fish. And this I was going to say, these rods are indestructible. Yeah, sure they are. <laughs> Bring them to Montauk. <laughs> oh, there's a leader. You're good. There's your fish. Good fish, too. Yeah, just hang out for a second. Michael. That's insane. What just happened there is insane. Ugh. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's got to be a kick coach. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright folks, I don't want anybody to get nervous here. We got all your uh, con requests right there for the old con sticker. It's inbound. There they are. I don't hit this I don't hit the PO box as much as I should. I apologize, but all your stuff is getting mailed out. Get your con stickers while supplies last. Right below in the description will tell you how to do it. The only thing, the only one that you get when you buy one of these things, apparently when you put this on your car or your boat, apparently supermodels like chasing and saying, I think I love you. <gasps> all right. It's no joke being the kind, all right? In case that they should made a moosh. <laughs> Whatever, all right? Thanks for uh, supporting the channel and stuff like that. And uh, let's go to another fish. <laughs>